Theo from this Theo, aka I'm back doing something else, y'all. And today we're gonna be doing a tutorial. Um, this tutorial we're gonna be really talking about something that I know everybody needs help on. I know I've been needing help on. I've been doing this like a month, and like I haven't, I haven't seen no videos that really helped out and like really teach me what to do. So, um, you already know the drill. You got your character done. You got it into a uh, Cinema 4D, and when you basically at the last step of like adding in facial capture and it just doesn't work so excuse my playback but this is what all I'm getting my mouth isn't working my eyes are barely working nothing else is really working in my uh, on my character like even if I, if I scrub through just like the head rotation is really working the eyes a little bit but not all the way which is cool that's more than what I was getting but I'm like, what's the problem? Like, I mean, like the dash 3D thing even says connect, but then like I have to go back and read it. What does that say right there? Genesis 8.1. And what do I have? I have a regular Genesis 8. So I was like, okay. So the whole time I've been trying to figure it out, and like that's the random column. So I'm like, well, how do I convert? Like, you just do, it doesn't have a button on dash 3D to say, oh, hey, here's how to convert your character. So. Here's how you do it. I, uh, I learned it from this video here from the guy at uh, the WP Guru. Um, I'll link this video down below, but it's pretty, it's super helpful in helping you how to convert it and helping you convert your characters from uh, Genesis 8 to Genesis 8.1. And that's all you really need is to like convert your character from Genesis 8 to 8.1. So I'm just quickly run you through it. So. In his tutorial, he uh, said you really just have to have a, a, a folder uh, to where you put your stuff at. Um, I mean, like, uh, where is it? Content library. Like, you know, when you put your third party stuff at that, he just had a few extra folders for like um, conversions where it was like 8.1 and 8.0. I mean, regular 8.0 Genesis. Um, I try to put one up there, but um, I don't see it up there loaded. And I closed out and everything, it's just not loaded. Like, so I just had it right here on the side. So with that, uh, so just keep that in mind. So I uh, go back to my other one. What he, uh, and, the, and then basically what he says is, is take your character, hold it, and if you have it, if you have to press control, but and have your uh, folder selected or wherever you want to send it, and you press this plus button down there, and you just save it as a character preset. And then since it's going there to my third party, I'll send it over here to, uh, let me go back, close my, close uh, I have my 8.1, and that's why I save my stuff at, press open, da da da, I mean, I have it saved in there already, I don't want to overwrite anything, then boom, so once you do that, then you have it down there, or, or it'll be over in the side if your folders work like that, but mine don't, so I just keep the folder open, so I can just simply drag it, so, once you have it saved, like you saved as a character preset, you go back to your smart content, and then you go to your Genesis 8 uh, starter essentials or whatever. Um, I usually, I don't really recommend using 8.1, like the basic mail, because like the shape of that mail is still be coming through, like, it's hard to say, but like, like I guess I'll show it a little bit of it. But like see how he is and then when I try to like uh, add in my character it'll still keep a lot of his facial features which isn't like it's weird like it'll keep his like body like it's like I know you guys can um, you can change it but like it's just weird so what he taught me that um, was a great thing you go to dev load I mean where it's really just like a blank canvas so um, once you have that blank canvas you have it selected right here then you go, uh, usually if you have your character folders working, but mine isn't. So I just go through and I drag it over to here. All right, so you don't press load new figure into the scene because then that's just gonna be loading a third character into there. So you just apply this character to that uh, selected figure. But uh, you can keep it selected as an option in your preference. Um, that's up to you, I don't, I mean, so once you press it, boom. So here's the one thing that I have not figured out how to fix, and he says this is gonna happen to almost every character. When I was watching this video, it's gonna be some little slight changes because it's like more, I think it's like different subdivision levels or something like that. I'm not really sure on the terms, 
but something's missing. I hate it, but like, hey, so this is my first one right here. This is my Genesis 8, my regular. I mean, it's all right. It looks kind of like me based off the picture I had used. Uh, if I can pull that up right here and say transfer. So, I used that ugly picture, and it, it kind of worked great for me. I liked it. I didn't, didn't do my hair or anything, but when you go and look at this guy right here, that... Only thing kept was like my my chin, my, I mean my, my chin beard or whatever. <laughs> I don't really like it, but I guess I'm gonna have to work with. I'm pretty sure there's ways I can fix it, but like that's something you guys gonna have to just look out for when you're doing your uh, characters and you're uh, upgrading them from Genesis 8 to 8.1. Like I think it's just a different like facial rig and facial textures all together all around. Like so that's why it's hurting right now. I really do not like the way his, his cheekbones are like all Squidward or handsome Squidward like. But I'm like thinking that's just like maybe that's just how it is. I mean, based off the picture I gave, but I don't know. I'll try it again later and try to uh, use like a, a better uh, picture taken with my DSLR instead of just a selfie and uh, really try to uh, go from there. But that's really it right there. You can uh, go ahead and just go to scripts. But before then, I know you usually have clothes that you had on your character. Uh, let's go back to his clothes and stuff. Uh, not here. Let's go to all wardrobe. So I usually, uh, like I already had on my characters, is this Chauncey outfit. Chauncey, Chauncey, I don't know. But when I click it, it don't really work. You know what I mean? So first of all, make sure you have your character selected. That's the, that's the main thing. Make sure you have that character selected. But then you go to the uh, wardrobe. the wardrobe to select that why does it it always does this to me I'm trying to just I think I just drag, drag it over there too so let's go back find the Chauncey outfit wherever it was at just drag it over there again. so see how they don't really don't fit I mean so Depending, like, hopefully you remember what your, uh, what the outfits, uh, what type of Genesis format they were when you, uh, downloaded it. I think this one was a Genesis 2 mail, and, um, it really doesn't have an option for pants or anything like that. If you do see what it is, like, if it's a dress, if it's a uh, full body, if it's hair or something like that, then, like, you put it in there, but it's not, just leave it at none. And then when I press accept, it just... It works it goes on there perfectly fine and i just do this for all the outfits if i can remember if not then just take your time and go through each of them each uh different format and see which one fits the best for you and then you got all your stuff updated so then we go back over into uh, cinema 4d uh and then you just do the simple little you know, dash uh well back in dash you can go to the scripts again if you have the scripts that's a cinema 4d or if you got to do it like fbx or obj depending on how you send it out um the best version i get best way is through the uh the scripts uh the bridge um so once you have it over there you, you know what i mean that's all you know what i mean simple that's self-explanatory you guys already know that but here's my ugly character once i bring him in. i really do not like him like dude looks like Arabian Tupac or something. I don't know, man. Like, he really looks weird. I'm trying to see what I can do to fix that before I, like, go any further on my, uh, project. But, yeah, so, once you got your character in, you go, you know what I mean? You went to the draft, that's the, uh, the Cinema 4D thing. Then, uh, I'll just delete all this. I would delete it, but I don't think I'm gonna mess it up. So, uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna start over for you guys. I'm sorry. So, go to your dad's. I mean, press dash, character, Genesis characters. Um, you can convert it to a T pose if you would like. Um, I'm really not about to worry about doing all the, uh, what's the name right now? I am just not dressed. So let's go to filter, uh, turn off the joints real quick. He just doesn't look cool. So then you go back to your, uh, you go to extensions. Then you go to uh, Moves by Maxon. And you see I got a couple videos here when I first tested it out. You just double click them. Uh, and then 
they'll load into your timeline. Uh, so usually it's probably on the ground somewhere. You just make it up. And yes, I know we, you guys had the same idea as me. I was gonna try to just merge this face onto my dude, but like I'm pretty sure that'd just like be way uglier and like yeah, it worked, but it just be way uglier. So okay, so we got the uh got the uh, facial recording it's not the best but it's I mean it's good um, so then we go here to uh, connect 8.1 so that was the main thing I just wasn't it was 8.1 so uh, and it's super easy once you get like you got your character so you go to boom the morph controller you go to your morph controller on the character so this is basically the main character and the the face capture right there. So when you go to face capture, then you just press the face capture. And then to get everything working, you press connect more, connect air rotation, and connect eye rotation. Just click them all so they can all just link. And then once you go here, see your uh, timeline, start scrubbing around. Everything should be on point. Boom. Now you can add some more. Frames to your timeline. I mean, and it works. Um, so, so just to recap real quick, what we did was you set up your character, and um, you already have your character set up in uh, Dash Studio. What you do is uh, you take and you save that character as a character preset. Uh, you know what I mean? Save it as a character preset. Then you go and you uh, get a dev load 8.1, a Genesis 8.1. It doesn't have to be a dev load. I do recommend a dev load so it, does, it doesn't have any skin texture problems, anything like that. And uh, then you just uh, drag it over there and you just uh, upload load it into an 8.1 character uh, mesh, I guess. Load your character into your character preset into an 8.1 mesh. And then, uh, you know, you, you add your clothes, like how I showed you the method of adding your clothes. And then you uh, save it, and you can either export it out the regular way through, um, you can export it out your regular way through uh, FBX, or through what I do recommend is uh, exporting out through Bridge, Cinema 40, the Dash Bridge, like this. And it just um, makes everything easy. Even getting all your textures and stuff like that, it makes it way easier. And then once in there, just recap again, you already got your character in the cinema for these, then you go to uh, extensions, then you go to moves by Maxon, and um, after you already got your, uh, your facial recordings uh, recorded, you just double tap, bring it into over here, your uh, object list or whatever that's called, and um, then you go back over to Dash 3D, then you go to Connect Genesis, and then simply just press this little arrow right here, Live select type thing, and then it says morph controller. You go to the morph controller, then you go to the face capture, you go to the face capture, and you press all these options once just to connect them. So connect, 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 and then once you start moving around, your character's connected and you got some facial capture. So, yeah. I hope this tutorial really helps you guys out. Um, I am about to start a whole little. Uh, not a full course, probably just like a couple videos on how to work through Daz and um, Daz Studio to Cinema 4D. Just to, um, you know, what I mean, show you guys some of the things that I've learned so far while trying to make a music video and uh, like a little animated mu movie. I know this is going to help you guys out with your previses and your movies and your music videos and your your just projects and stuff like that. So I just had to hurry up and just because I know a lot of people aren't really catching on and really learning this. Because I mean, I know it says 8.1 right there in the name but like oh i'm like i had a character i had a genesis 8 character i thought that was one i was the it was the latest character so i thought it would work with that but you know what i mean just simply just converting your character and then bringing it back in and then working but i do need help so if you guys can help me figure out my playback like how to get my playback working i know if i go over here and then i press all frames but it just seems like it just skips past on that one it doesn't really I mean, and I know this, uh, my facial cap was recorded with, uh, audio, so, 
if I had my audio as well, that at least helped me to know that I got everything, you know what I mean, synced up. But that's another tutorial. I'll just go do some more research on that. But once again, if this tutorial helps you, please think, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. It will really, really help. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps you guys, man. Because I'm really excited. I'm glad that I got this working. And I'm glad to be able to get back and get some stuff, uh, get the project finished finally.